side for the way. Hey y'all, I am so excited to be filming this video because it's my first film video on my new channel, Chellspiration. So today I'm going to be talking about self-worth and I feel like I'm going to have a lot of videos dedicated to self-worth. It's a very complex thing that I feel like a lot of people have to go through. And so this is just one little story, one little nugget that I have about just a perspective change on approaching your self-worth and dealing with building up your self-worth. So as a Christian woman, I try to align everything in my life with the Word of God. I feel like scriptures and the passages in the Bible are just little nuggets for wisdom. And I love me some Proverbs 31. I will read it over and over again. And it's crazy because I feel like every single time I read it, I learn something new. And so basically one verse that comes to mind when I think about self-worth is Proverbs 31 and 10. And it reads, a capable, intelligent, and virtuous woman. Who is he who can find her? She is far more precious than jewels and her value is far above rubies or pearls. So I've grown up a lot in my faith since being in college. I've been in college now two years. That's crazy, so crazy. And I feel like when I first came, I was more of a baby Christian and I'm really, really growing up. And so honestly, I never really got scriptures. And so that's kind of like one of the things I wanna do on this channel. I really wanna break down the word of God and really just show like the practical application of the wisdom in the Bible because there's so much truth and so much happiness behind the word of God. But it's just like reading the Bible was never enjoyable to me because Honestly, it wasn't because I was just like, okay, it just, it was a thou art shall and you're far better than rubies. And it's just like, it's, it was very poetic to me and it was pretty. And of course I believed in God and I had a fear of God and I grew up in the church, but I was just like, you know, like why are people excited to read the Bible? Why is this so, why is this so helpful? I didn't, I, I didn't really get it. But I really think that God has given me a gift of approaching the Bible in a creative way. And creativity is more than just being able to paint and draw and decorate and all that. I believe creativity is being able to see things how they are and teach it or apply it in a different way or transform it and present it in a new way that somebody else has not thought about. And so I feel like God has kind of given me that gift when it comes to the Word of God. And I think that's a very powerful gift because a lot of people are disconnected from the word because they don't really understand the real life applications behind a lot of things. Okay, so basically the first time I heard that verse was this one time I went to this like dinner and talk thing at this local church at my house when I was a senior in high school. I got this flyer in the mail advertising this lady coming and basically she's like, uh, she's a preacher of purity and she was a great speaker and I will find her information and I will link it down below because she was my first introduction to just like really applying like the actual word of God and not just somebody's just interpretation of it into my life and so basically she read that verse and she broke it down and she just said think of rubies and think about diamonds and think about pearls and all those great jewels and she was just saying that God says that a virtuous woman, someone that is living for him, someone that has a good heart and is trying to align their lives to reflect his goodness is more valuable than all those things that so many people seek. And then she continued to pass out these little fake rubies and she encouraged us to put it by something that we use every day like our keys or phone in our room just so it can be like a constant reminder of our worth and she was just saying that god says that we're more valuable than this um and she was just saying just let this be a constant reminder think about what it would be like to own one of these and then just in your head transform yourself and just be like well god says i'm better than that you know and so that was my first introduction to it and so like a true chelsea i just continue to think and ponder and analyze what that really meant. And so basically, after just that little dinner series, I thought it was great. It was senior year of high school and I was entering college and 
I knew that I would probably date eventually and I was making new friends and I would be um, embarking on a new journey and I would have tons of applications and just moments ahead of me that would challenge my perception of my self-worth. And so I was thinking of a graduation gift for myself and I was like, whoa, it would be so bomb to get like a ring that had like a ruby on it. And I'm not talking about something big, you know, some, some. <laughs> that had like a ruby on it, just to constantly remind myself of my worth and that God says that I am great and that I'm super valuable and these jewels are rare and that I am rare and that I'm a jewel on this earth and I'm better than a jewel on this earth. And I just really wanted that, right? This is this is the cute, funny part, right? So I go to like a jewelry store. I think I went to Jerry's. Like I took myself to Jerry's. I was like, eh, you know, I'm about to research this ring. You know, I was kind of ready to ball out because it was like senior gift. You know, I was like, I worked hard in high school. Cool. So I was like, show me the rubies. <laughs> I was like, I want a ruby ring. And now that I think about it, I feel like they were kind of looking at me. They're like, okay, like you know, maybe she got it like that. Cool. And so <laughs> they show me this ruby um, section in the store and I find this ring. It was so cute, y'all. I had like a little band and it was just like a little simple ruby. And I was like, oh, this is perfect. I could wear it. And just whenever I'm doubting myself, I could look down and it, it could be a reminder of that Bible verse. And so basically, um, so basically, you know, I find the ring and I'm just like, well, how much does it cost? And they're like, well, 12. And I'm like, ah, I'm a little steep, you know, because I was, I wasn't ready to do all that, you know. And so I was like, 1,200. I'm like, it is like a real jewel. And I was like, okay. And maybe since I'm graduating, I can convince my parents to get it for me. It's, it's a good cause, and it's, you know, it's about self worth and it's biblical. Cool. As I continue the conversation, I realized that the 12 didn't mean 1,200. It meant 12k. Oh, it was 12,000. You want twelve thousand dollars for this ring, and y'all, I was not. It was not this big old like jewel. Like I was not. It was like a little bitty, itty bitty something. You know, I was. I wasn't trying to go crazy. It was a little itty, itty bitty something. And I was like, what? And I was like, twelve k. And I, I just did the the quick. Okay, thank you for that information. You know, and I walked out the store, and I was just laughing to myself because I was like, wow, I was really trying to ball out, and I was just like, okay, that was definitely not <laughs> not my time for this. So maybe in the future. But my point in saying all that is that God says that we are more valuable than that. And I really underestimated the value of that jewel. And we're more valuable than that. And so that kind of, so I was thinking about that encounter and I was laughing about that. And I reread the verse later on. At this point, I was probably a freshman in college, sophomore in college. And so I read the verse again, I was having quiet time, and then it kind of hit me. And I was just like, I thought I saw a lot of my sisters just taking any kind of approach from guys, you know? When you look cute, because you know, you can look kind of crusty, you know, hard weeks in school, but then you have a day, your hair done, makeup popping, you know, you looking cute and you uh, pass by a group of guys and they don't, they're not sitting down planning on how to approach you or how to get your number. They just see a cute girl. I'm not saying all the time, but this is what I've seen. They see a cute girl, they see a girl in a tight dress and they see something that they want. And it's almost like they're trying to feed their ego. They're not even trying to just like really get to know you. It's like, they just see something cute and they want it. Almost like when I'm in the store and I'm like, I want that dress, it's cute. You know, there's no like planning and preparation behind it. And which can be fine sometimes because, you know, sometimes people meet randomly and it just works out and they connect and they have this awesome story and cool. But I'm talking about the moments when a guy just sees something cute and they're like, hey, little mama, you know, <laughs> they're just like, hey, little mama, like, let me get that number, let me get them digits. and. I just see girls that are not used to attention and not necessarily used to getting numbers, which is fine because it all happens when it needs to happen. But I feel like sometimes if you haven't gotten attention from a guy in a while or you haven't felt pretty or you haven't felt like valuable, you'll take that and you'll kind of run with it and you'll kind of like, you'll take that and you'll run with it and you'll accept that. And sometimes 
it doesn't need to be accepted. And it's not just in romantic situations, it's also in friendships. Sometimes you can feel so lonely that um, whenever somebody gives you a little attention or tries to just do something and they might have other motives behind it, you'll just take it and be like, oh, I'm just happy that I'm getting attention. But how this applies to my um, story from the jewelry store and all of that is that when most people, when the average person buys jewels, there's some intention behind it. You don't, I mean, unless you're wealthy and it's just something that you can do, most people don't just like pop up and plan to buy a $10,000 ring, you know? Most people don't just be like, oh, I think I'm gonna buy like four carat, 20 carat diamonds today, you know? Like there's some planning behind it. When, when a man decides to propose to a woman, he, you know, he, he, he finds out what ring she wants and she, he goes to the store and he talks to her best friend and tries to see what style she wants and saves his money and works up to that point. And there's a lot of intention behind those jewels. And so the Bible says we're more valuable than those jewels, right? So that means that don't just take somebody who's randomly deciding that they want you and don't just don't just take that, you know? You should know your worth and you should know that there needs to be some intention behind you. There needs to be somebody seeking you and going after you and don't just throw yourself at them. You know, you're more valuable than a jewel. When people buy jewels, there's intention behind them. There's planning and they're working their way up to get to that point because they see the worth of those jewels. And because you're more valuable, you should expect people to have even more planning and preparation behind their intentions for you. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that little analogy kind of gives you a new perspective on that verse and just makes you think about your worth. And so the next time you feel like somebody just randomly decides that they want to talk to you, you know, because I'm not saying when somebody just randomly sees you and that's, that's an opportunity for them to get to know you. I'm saying when people go like, the leaves in the wind and they're like, oh, I think I want to talk to this girl today or that girl. Don't accept that in your life. Know that you're more valuable than a ruby and pearls and diamonds and know that they need to have some intention behind their efforts if they want you because you have value. And just like people save up their money and intentionally go buy jewels and diamonds, they need to save up their time and intentionally try to impress you. And not from a, not from a woe, it's me, I'm the center of attention type way, but you know your worth. And when something is worthy and valuable, there's intention behind it. And just like when you have jewels and diamonds, you don't just throw it away and treasure it and you beat yourself up if you lose them, like how Kim K was in the ocean and she was screaming about her diamond earrings. Like that sucks, you know? Um, Don't let people just throw you away. Or if they just throw you away and they choose to treat you any kind of way, think back Think of it like somebody just throwing away a diamond ring, something better than a diamond ring, something better than a ruby ring. You should have that perspective. You should think of yourself as valuable. And I hope that comparison makes sense. And I just really wanted to just offer that, just that mind shift. Sometimes we just need mind shifts and we can read the verses in the Bible, but sometimes it takes just that analogy to fully understand what these verses mean. So I hope this video was helpful. Share this video with somebody that has been struggling with friendships or relationships or not feeling like they are worthy. And just, I really encourage you to read the verse for yourself and just to really um, analyze it in your own way. Okay, so that's all I wanted to say for this video. I hope this gave you some insight into this topic and make sure to share this video with anybody you think really needs to hear this information. And I'll be making a new video very soon. Bye, thanks for watching. Bang gang 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 g